Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about maybe one of the best color cameras in astrophotography. The ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro. I got a question, what's the best color camera or monochrome camera in astrophotography in your opinion? Leave a comment. So, when you open the box, you're gonna find few cables, few adapters, the camera itself, which is in this really nice carrying bag, this little wrench, and a guide. All right, let's open the camera bag. Here it is. Honestly, I really like the little bag where you can keep your camera. This is so nice. All right, let's have our first look. The first thing we notice is the size of this camera. And if you are any familiar with other ZWO cameras, you'll notice that this camera is a little bit bigger and heavier than other ZWO cameras. I don't think that you need to be too worried of the size and weight of this camera. It's not crazy heavy. It is still very portable. In the back of the camera we have USB 2.0s, one USB 3.0 and as well DC 12 volt port. And when you are using this camera, make sure that you connect DC 12 volt and USB 3.0 to make sure everything works properly. This camera has a standard 55 mm back focus and the packaging includes these extenders. This is 16.5 mm and this is 21 mm. And what you do is that you connect these two and the rest 17.5 mm you get from this camera itself. because the distance from this edge to the sensor is 17.5 millimeters. So when you connect these extenders to the camera, you will get a perfect 55 millimeter back focus. A really cool feature that this camera has is that when you connect this camera to the ASI Air, there is a anti-do button so this camera has an anti-do feature. So if you are someone who is having do issues, that feature could really help you. Or if there is too much moist or something in the air, that feature can be really handy. Let's next talk about the specs of this camera. I'm going to have the specs on the screen here. So first thing you might notice is that this camera has an APS-C size sensor which gives you a little crop, so keep that in mind when you are planning your framing. The pixel size is 3.76, which is pretty standard, and it captures high resolution images, and it has about 26 megapixels. The files are large when you capture images with this camera, but personally I have never had issues with the file sizes. I have connected this camera to the ASI Air, and the storage has always lasted the entire night. If you are worried about storage, you can always use a flash drive and store the images there if you wish. When you start to take your first long exposure images with this camera, you realize that this camera makes zero amp glow. And that is something I really love about this camera. Gain is also a hot topic in dedicated astronomy cameras and when you look at the graph here, and for this camera in particular, when you set your gain to 100, you are in good shape. The last thing I want to talk about is the price of this camera. We sell it for a little over 2500 euros. There are similar and cheaper options like the ASI 294 MC or the ASI 533 MC. The difference is that with the ASI 2600, 
you don't have to deal with amp glow, which is the bright light on your images. You'll have bigger sensor, which is a little bit better in low light, and you'll have higher resolution images. Other than that, there is not much of a difference when it comes to your final image quality. You can learn more about the ASI 2600 or its alternatives on our website astroartstore.com. Clear skies, everybody.